welcome i'm excited this is the first time ever we're getting ready to bring you inside the ministry and the life of paul horn paul horn ministries heinz chapel ame church uh, this saturday uh, we begin to go into our normal saturdays uh, every saturday we have a work day most pastors on saturday begins to prepare themselves for the next day so they kind of rest and get themselves together I kind of do things different. On Saturday, I begin to go to work. So then on Saturdays, we have meetings all day on Saturday, and then we have sessions on Saturdays. Now, the first Saturday of every month is where we have our big Saturday, where we come in and we have classes all day. Uh, today, I'm going to bring you to my preacher class, and I'm excited about that, where I go in every month and I get with my preachers and we do uh, exercises on preaching. We do uh, teaching sessions about preaching. We try to prepare them as they go out to preach, and then we go into our preaching ceremonies and all that kind of stuff. And then we begin to go into um, our Sunday mornings where we go into have our ministerial meeting where we meet with all our ministers, and we sit down at a round table at a restaurant, and we sit down and we have a meeting about the month, what happened last month, but we get ready to go into the next month. This is going to be an exciting weekend, so I need you to come with me, and let's just do this thing. So I'm going to invite you to come with me now and just be a blessed part of our picture class. Come on down my tongue. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see y'all. John 316 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everybody know that, right? Mm -hmm. That scripture right there is substance. That scripture alone can change people's lives forever. If they believe that that scripture, just that scripture, they can be saved, transformed, and changed by that scripture alone. The substance of that scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed in him should not pray for heaven. That alone, that substance, can change lives. People have been saved by that one scripture text by itself. Okay, we're giving them a couple of seconds to get their sermons together and we're going to have some preaching sessions so the class is going to expound on what they just got in the words um, and what they've been taught and they're going to just give over the class and then after they preach then the um, rest of the class is going to observe them and tell them their do's and their don'ts and uh, what they learned what they did not learn or what they could have did better stuff like that right too so it's going to be interesting so we get excited about that can I get a witness today? Right there. That God will step in right on the time. Right Amen. When it seems like we can't turn, I'm going to smack it. Okay, we just finished our section, and uh, preacher class has been wonderful and powerful. Uh, you see, the ministers are coming forth, they're doing what's being taught, uh, trying to perfect their skill in preaching, trying to get them prepared for uh, this ministry, trying to prepare for where God is taking them to the next place. The people are even working. Now I'm headed back here to the office and we got new membership out. All our new members. We have one-on-one -on -one sessions when they come in after they do the new membership class. We come in and then they have the one-on-one -on -one session with Pastor Horn. So let's let's go in here. We'll, we'll talk to you later. So um, that enters and close that, and we get ready to enter into uh, my second preparation as we begin to go into our worship service. So now I go home and begin to prepare uh, for 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 preaching on tomorrow evening. So I come in and kind of sit down and get in, and then. Um, have some time with the Lord and then we 
um, go out and eat and stuff. So just keep following me. Okay, so now we're coming in and this is a time where we break down and we spend some time with the Lord for tomorrow as we prepare. Uh, we do a little study time. Uh, we can see exactly what the Lord is saying for tomorrow. Uh, also, we prepare to get ourselves for uh, Sunday morning on the first Sunday of every month. We have ministerial meeting and we go in and we have a round table. You'll get to see that a little later on. Come on, this is our Dothan residence where we come and we have a place down here in Dothan where we come and because we have to do a lot of traveling back and forth. So this is our Dothan residence. This is kind of, we kind of left in a hurry this morning so it might be a little bit of stuff everywhere. But this is kind of like where our little hideout of home away from home where we come and get ourselves together and begin to enjoy ourselves. So we're going to break down and take some clothes off and relax and get my Bible and get my stuff together and start putting some stuff together. We'll get back with you in a little while. How about that? Okay, we, we're preparing for tomorrow, so before we go to bed, we get our stuff out for, for Sunday morning, first Sunday, so we know on first Sunday we do our uh, regular civic attire, collar shirts and uh, stuff, so we go and kind of get ourselves to together. And I like to I like to be ready, so I like to pre-prepare myself before I go to bed. All right, we headed out. My driver didn't make it this morning, so I got to drive myself, but it's all right. I like to have it myself sometimes, cause so I don't get used to comfortable. But people always having to do stuff for you. We headed to breakfast to the ministerial meeting. I'm happy you get a chance to see this. All right, we're here. Uh, one of the key components of leadership, I feel, uh, as we begin to establish a better leadership, we got to have relationship. Um, relationship, not dictatorship. Um, when we're in ministry, we understand that most people are serving out of the capacity of what their desires are. So as they serve in the capacity of their desires, they're not getting paid for it. So you can't come in to dictate to people on what you need and what you want. You come in and you have a relationship, you build a foundational relationship with people. They will value you and who you are. So this is why we have this meeting every month to continue to establish relationships. So come on to the Golden Corral with us. Excited to be here, as always. Um, there's always a privilege to gather and, 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 and sit and just have a, uh, a little love feast. So um, first and foremost, I always want to thank you guys um, for the, the, the commitment to ministry that you do uh, week after week, day after day, uh, the service that you give to um, the whole church. Um, I think. I, I, not, I think I know that this is um, the way of the Lord. I know the ministry would not be what it is if it was not for you and your commitments and your dedication. I, I think you need to realize that uh, sometimes you probably forget it, uh, uh, that you help make this ministry <clears throat> be everything that it is. Uh, if I just move one of y'all from the puzzle, it would change the whole scenario of the scheme of things. All right, and for that, I, I'm grateful that, that you're so committed to this. Uh, I was sharing a second ago how um, the importance of building relationship, uh, especially when you're in a place where you know that 
consistently, people are com committed and dedicated and don't get paid for it. Uh, the only way, uh, the only way you can build relationships, I mean, build uh, ministries of this magnitude is you have to have relationships. Um, a guy said to me, um, Pastor Brent said that uh, Pastor Lord got his people like uh, drill sergeant. What did he do? Uh, they just they make they, they sure they there. They do this and do that. Uh, I don't do no drill sergeant. I build relationship. Uh, your relationship with me makes you want to be or do right. Or your lack of relationship with me make you do something different. Successful ministerial meeting. Uh, wonderful. Great teamwork. Excited about it. Uh, now we're headed to the church. So come on with us to the church and let's uh, see how we begin to start our Sunday morning. So we are we are a mixed church. So we are an AME church, and um, even though we really charismatic and stuff, the first Sunday we do uh, traditional AME stuff. Uh, one of the things that we do here is a wonderful Sunday schools. We still believe in Sunday school, so we go in and have a Sunday school. So we have about four or five classes, and so we have a, a review time. So we're going to be ready to go in and see how we review. And see how that takes place. And then the first time we do traditional stuff, we do the communion, we do the order service of traditional stuff. Uh, just to give the people an opportunity to see the foundation of African Methodist Episcopal Church. So we're excited. So come on in, let's go see how we do this thing. Finish. 
This is our weekend um, powerful service, uh, jam packed service. I believe that the Lord was glorified. And I think that, that the people was edified. But this is how we do ministry here at the chapel. Um, I just thought it would be great for you to come into our world and see how we do things. We invite you to come and worship with us. But we have a powerful experience. Now, this is the only Sunday we dress up and stuff. Every other Sunday we dress down Sunday, so we don't wear no suits because we don't do suits and stuff like that until first Sunday. But I, 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 I implore you to come and be a part of this experience and watch God change your life. Listen, uh, we have a whole lot of things going on. Um, just get to the chapel and may the Lord bless you. Uh, see you next time. Peace. Good evening. As you can see, we're in the process of going from over there to over here within the next four to five months. The Lord has blessed us, has blessed us with some property and the, the ministry is growing. So we're expanding, we, we, we're coming over here and doing something great. We're excited about the work of the Lord. It's amazing how God can come and give you uncultivated land. And just a few months from now, you see this uncultivated land become the new Heinz Chapel AME Church. We're